it's Lena. So today we have a lot of interesting things to open. We got some figures here and a really cool accessory. And I also got a lucky bag from Amiami and a lucky bag box from Prime One Studio. And I never got anything from Prime One, so I'm super excited to see what's inside. And um, I heard a lot of good things about Amiami um, lucky bags. And this time it's not a regular Amiami lucky bag. I found this last week. It's a Square Enix. Lucky bag, so I, I really like Square Enix games, so I'm super excited to see what's inside. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, so let's start off with the smaller figure. So here is Bochi the Rock, here is Koto Hitori Bochi, and I got this from Shinjuku uh, at Book Off, and it was 1200 yen, so it was a really good price. And I don't have any Goto Hitori figure, so I thought this one's super cute, so let's open it. So like, here is Watch the Rock. So I'm laughing because she came out of a box and you know how she likes to go inside boxes. <laughs> it's, it's so fitting. Here is Bochi. Oh my gosh, I love how she's so. She, I love how she's sitting like this. This is like this is so her. Oh, and her facial expression. I feel like I need to get all her friends here, so she doesn't have to be Bochi all the time. But this is so cute. This looks like a noodle topper, but it's actually not. It's a. It's just a regular figure. It's pretty cool. All right, so here is Bochi close up. She looks really good for a clean figure. Super simple pose, but it's very bochi-ish. And she's also pretty sturdy. And I like her little hair accessory. It's very cute. Yeah, so I'm really happy I got this. She can chill on my desk. Alright, so the next figure that I'm gonna open is a figure that I've been waiting for for a long time and I really can't wait to open it. Um, it's super kawaii. It is this figure of Nakano Itsuki from Gotobu no Hanayome, uh, quintessential quintuplets. And this figure is so kawaii! I've been looking at the site and um, waiting for this figure. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy it's here. Uh, it's 1 6, so it's, it's a really big figure. Um, and if you guys watch my Lucky Bag video, um, I wanted some Itsuki stuff from my Gotobu no Hanayome Lucky Bag, but I got nothing Itsuki. So, I'm just super excited to open this today. So yeah, let's open it. Gosh, even the box is so cute. Oh my gosh. Funny, her ahoge comes separately. So um, I said the ahoge comes separately, but like, it kind of looks like it could be broken. Um. Okay, but there's a hole in the head, so maybe I don't know. Did anyone else get this figure? Let me know if uh, if it's supposed to be <laughs> separate. Okay, so it goes in the <laughs> okay, so it goes in the head perfectly. So maybe it's supposed to be like this. Not sure, but you know, on the right side. If I remove, I don't have to worry about the ahoge breaking. Just take it off. So yeah. But anyways, it's so cute. So um, for this little thing, the head comes off. So I take it off, and um, I always like get so excited that I forget to open the base. Let's for the base. So here is Itsuki's base. It's a very nice brick base. I mean, you know, looks like bricks. And looks easy to put on. Alright, so here she is. This is the 1 6 Nakano Itsuki from Good Smile Company. And gosh, this figure is so big. I mean, it's 1 6. I don't think I have a 1 6. I have a 1 4 and a 1 7 and 1 8. But 1 6 might be. Yeah, this might be a first 1 6 figure. And oh my goodness, this is so kawaii. Like, it's called date style, so I imagine this is how it will be if you want to date with Itsuki. She got a crepe in her hand, and she got churls, <laughs> and she has cream on her face. It's so adorable with her, her tongue, she's like going like that. It's so cute, oh my goodness. 
So um, this is my first scale uh, Itsuki figure. I have um, a few crane of her, and this is yeah. I've been waiting for this for so long. I just can't get over how cute she is. So here it is. Super happy. I hope the hook is okay. I mean, it looks okay. So here's Itsuki, day style version from Good Smile Company. Man, I'm in love with this figure. First of all, it's really big. And the brick style base gives it a nice outdoor feeling. Love the boots and the white little balls. Her outfit is also really cute. I love the details on her turtleneck sweater. It's really nice. And the red coat also looks very good on her. Her bag is also very cute. And there's a really nice gradation on her hair. Wow. And what I like most is her expression. She looks like she's having so much fun eating the churros and crepe with cream on her face. Yeah, she looks so adorable. Here's her ahoge. I feel like it might have come broken. I'm not sure, but it does go in her head perfectly. But yeah, I really love this figure. All right, so let's open the next item. Here is a Sailor Moon Cosmos accessory by Mela. And Mela does a lot of anime accessory collaborations, and I have some from Karkata Sakura, and it looks really nice. So um, I'm super excited to see how the Sailor Moon one looks. There are earrings. Let's open it. Ooh. So it looks very nice, and I believe the accessory will be inside here. And I think it comes with the a little stand for the accessory. Alright, so this is really... Gosh, this is really nice. It's like a trophy. So here are the earrings. They're so beautiful. These are earrings of Sailor Jupiter, Makoto. The box looks so nice and beautiful. Love how you can see the moon and earth. And when you open it... It looks really nice. It's got everyone here. And here are the earrings. So it comes with a frame and you can put the earrings on. So here is the frame. It's really nice. It's gorgeous. And when you go close to it, you can see it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Cosmos Mela. So here are the earrings. Wow, this looks really nice. I love the green and pink combination. And the star here is super cute. So here's how it looks if you use it as a stand. And if you're not wearing this, this looks really nice as an interior. Alright, so here's how it looks. Yeah, I really like it. So every character has their own earring and they all look really beautiful. Alright, so next let's open an Ichiban Kuji that I did recently. Here is a masterized figure of Lakis Klein or Laksu Klein from Gundam Seed Freedom. And I just watched the movie recently and it was so good. So Gundam Seed actually aired like 20 years ago and um, I watched it pretty recent in the last few years because my friend was telling me that it's really good and um, I wasn't super into the mecha genre but after I watched Gundam Seed I realized that I really like mecha and um, I started watching Cold Geass and Guren Lagan, Darling in the Franks and Knights of Sidonia and yeah so this is the reason why I got into the mecha genre so the movie was really good and I watched it twice already the first time I watched it, I watched it like a regular movie at a movie theater and the second time I watched it, I watched it um, on a 4DX screen and it was, it's with the moving chairs and everything and it was like, I was like having the time of my life, time of my life. it was so fun um, because then the Gundam moves, moves right and then you're like moving with it and it's going like this and there's like wind and water splashing it was just so much fun yeah so if you're in japan um and you like gundam seed maybe you can check out the 4dx movie because it was so awesome and if you don't know gundam seed maybe you can um pick it up and if you like it maybe watch the movie when it comes out um but yeah let's open the figure Alright, so here is the base. It's a very normal clear base. And here is Luxa! Wow. So there's like a little stand. I think it's supposed to support the weight of her hair. So here is Luxa. She is so beautiful. And I love how she looks like she's floating and her hair is 
like flying up, just like how she's in space. Wow. So here's Laksu Ichiban Kuji A Prize figure. I'm very happy because this is the first Ichiban Kuji Laksu figure, and I love how she looks like she's floating. I always thought her outfit is so unique. It's like a half kimono and the bow also looks like it's floating. It's really cool. And her hair is wavy and long. And her new hair accessory is so cool. And she's so pretty. I'm so glad I got this figure. Yeah, but I really enjoyed the movie. It was so good. And I love Luxa a lot. She's so beautiful. Yay! All right, so next let's open the Prime Blonde Studio Lucky Bag. Here it is. It's actually a box, but it said Lucky Bag on the site, so I'm just gonna call it Lucky Bag. So this is a Lucky Bag from Prime One Studio, and it's a line called Cutie One. And I've seen Cutie One figures before. They're they, they're really cute, but I've never owned one. And um, this was 5,000 yen, and from a series I really like. It's for Jujutsu Kaisen, and um, I think it's worth. The stuff that's inside is worth 15,000 yen and there's also a 5,000 yen coupon so I thought it might be a good time to, you know, pick it up. So yeah, let's open it. I'm super excited to see what characters I get. Alright. Wait, this is so cute! It is a lucky bag! Oh my gosh! So it says Fukubukuro right here, which means lucky bag. So that's cool. It really is a lucky bag. And the, the wrapping is so adorable. Alright, let's check it out. Jujutsu Kaisen Happy Bag 2024. Cool. What is this? So here it is. <laughs> so here is a um, cutie one figure. Here is a cutie one figure of Itadori Yuji, Sukuna version. So yeah, technically Sukuna. <laughs> yeah, so it's called cutie one for, for a reason, right? It's super cute. <laughs> Right, so here is Itadori Yuji, Sukuna version. Yeah, so it's quite interesting how they can make, you know, villains and bad guys look cute. <laughs> Alright, and we have... Here is a clear file of Itadori Yuji. This one's Itadori Yuji, not Sukuna version. And here's another lucky... Uh, not lucky bag, another clear file of Nobara. And here is... Oh, bro. A rubber strap of Skuna. <laughs> Dude, this is like a Skuna bag. <laughs> okay, of Skuna. And here is. Oh! oh! He's turned around so I can't see the face, but here is a keychain of Panda. That's pretty adorable. And. What do you have here? <laughs> here is. um. Oh, it's embroidered. It's an em embroidered keychain of Todo Aoi. <laughs> well, I don't have any Todo Aoi items, so I'm kind of happy with this. Nice. So here is an acrylic keychain of Maki. Oops, sorry, Panda. Here is an acrylic keychain of Itadori Yuji. And oh, how nice. Got some masking tapes. We have two masking tapes of. Oh, it looks like a. Like the film. Like the anime film. Here is a memo pad of Itadori Yuji. A lot of Itadori Yuji's. And oh, here is an embroidered keychain of Nobara. And here are Jujutsu Kaisen flake stickers. So I actually like, I love Jujutsu Kaisen so much. I'm happy to get anything Jujutsu Kaisen. So this bag is like really nice. Right, and there's, there's a paper. Coupons for Prime One Studio, 2,500 yen times two, so 5,000 yen coupon. 
and I can use it for oh I can use it for the site or the Shinjuku gallery shop so that's really nice so these stickers are actually really nice they're Megumi Ishikigami so the, here's the Gekugen dogs and there's an elephant and I think Nue maybe the fog is in here so this is really cute so I never bought any cutie one items and this is my first time getting some and I think it's super cute I like how they have like button eyes and they have like a zipper mouth and Skuna is cool also I'm happy and um there's 13 items that's pretty good that's a really good lucky bag and I also got you know the two brothers you know Braza. so <laughs> I'm happy and like I said I love Jujutsu Kaisen so much I'm happy with whatever I get so yeah I'm super happy with this. this is a really nice lucky bag Alright, so next let's open the Square Enix Amiyami Lucky Bag. Here it is. It is. It's very interesting. It's um, 15,000 yen and there's two figures in here plus some merch. And 15,000 yen is like the price of one figure. So I'm super excited to see what's inside. And, um, and it came with this um, exclusive. This is really nice. The little towel. And I love Square Enix games. I love uh, Final Fantasy, Nier, um, Kingdom Hearts, Dragon Quest. So I'm super excited to see what's inside. But uh, real soon, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is coming out. And I'm super excited. I played uh, Final Fantasy VII for the first time in 2020, um, the remake game, and I loved it. So actually, I kind of wish that there's Final Fantasy 7 figures in here but you know we don't know so um let's check it out all right so here are things I got I see two black shiny boxes oh oh shoot this is really nice okay so um this is like a Final Fantasy bag. Wow. Okay, so let's put the small stuff first. Here is a acrylic stand of Yuffie. This is pretty nice. Here is oh, I don't know who this character is. It's it's called a Final Fantasy. Oh, it's for Eleven Bright Arts Gallery Mandragora. Super cute character. And yeah, we got two figures here. So we have. <laughs> oh, we got rude. So, um, let's see. Oh, that's nice. Shinra. So, um, I actually have um, a play card arts of Cloud and Tifa. So, this is actually nice because I don't have rude. This is cool. Just having Rude makes me want to get um, Reno because, you know, they're Turks. And I know that Turks are like bad guys, but like for some reason they seem really chill and like kind of cool. So um, yeah, I'm just super excited to play a game and, you know, see what they're up to. But this is, this is pretty nice. And we have one more item in here. Wow, okay. So here is, wow, here is a play card arts of Tifa. Dude, this is really nice. Oh my goodness. And I don't have this Tifa. I have the regular Tifa. So this is really, really nice. Wow. This is so beautiful. Oh man. Yeah, this this makes me more excited to play the game. Alright, so this is a really nice lucky bag. We got two figures and an acrylic stand and like a little, tiny little figure. That's super nice. Alright, so yeah, the Ami Ami Square Enix Lucky Bag was pretty good. I'm super happy, and especially because I got two figures I don't have. So yeah, this is really nice. Alright guys, so we opened a lot of stuff, and I am super satisfied with the figures that I got. They're so nice, and I'm super happy about the stuff that I got from Lucky Bag because they're all characters that I like. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun, and I hope you guys have fun too. Um, let me know which figure or merch you guys like the most. Oh, and by the way, I'm actually in the middle of making another tour video, so hopefully that comes out soon. Um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a wonderful day, and hope to see you guys again soon. Bye!